Yo, what's good, y'all? Today I'm about to show you guys how to make a open and close GUI. Basically, like you have a GUI like, on the side of your screen, it has like a button. Maybe it's like it says like press to open inventory, and then you click it, and then it opens your inventory. But, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to make something like that. So yeah, let's just get into it. You guys can ignore this. You do not need this. I just have this. I just have the uh, shift script still here. So what you guys you want to do? You want to head on over to start a GUI. And then you want to insert a screen GUI, and then you could just name this. You can name this whatever you want, but for this, we'll just name this open, open, close GUI. We'll just name it that. And then inside, we're going to insert a frame. And then inside that frame, we're going to insert a local script, a text button. And then we're gonna insert, we're gonna go to the GUI. Don't insert it into the frame, insert this into the GUI. We're gonna insert a, another text button. We're gonna, the, okay, here, let me show you guys. The text button inside the GUI, not inside of the frame, we, we're gonna name this open, as this is the button that's gonna open, like, our GUI. Now the button inside the frame is what's gonna be what closes it. So we'll name this open and close. So, we will go inside the local script. Well, actually, I guess we could do G, uh, GUI customization right now. Might as well just get it out of the way. All right, so we have a frame here. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's just make our frame. You guys can do this whatever way, whatever way you want. And it's disappeared. Uh, let me just change the position. There we go. Okay. So you guys can do this whatever way you want. Literally depends on however you want your GUI, like what, what's its purpose. But for this, we're just going to do it like this. We're going to just make this, um, I guess just make it black. This is going to be our, this, remember, this is our close button. So we're going to change the text into it. We're going to make it rich and scale it. And we're going to change the text to just an X. And then we'll change the text color to red. People know that all they have to do is just click this and then that'll close it. We could either make the background color black or we could just do uh, background transparency, set it to one. We'll just set the, yeah, there you go. It looks, just looks good. I mean, it pretty much looks the same, but yeah. So when people click the, uh, red, uh, the red X, it'll just close. And this right here is going to be our open button. We'll have this. We could just make this, I guess we'll make this, um, I guess we'll just make it a yellow. And then, I guess in the text we could just do click to open, I guess. And then we'll scale and make the text rich just like before. Alright. And then we also, we want to make the frame, we want to make, we want to uh, take visible off. Make sure you have it ticked off. You want the open button to be uh, visible. You want that to be visible when players join because there's no other way for them to open it unless they can access the uh, open button. So then we're going to go go and head over to the script. We're going to make three variables. First, we're going to make local frame. We're going to do frame. So just do script.parent as that's the frame. Then we're going to do local open equals frame dot parent wait for child quotation marks open because this is our frame then we want to do since obviously the open button is not a child of frame we have to do frame dot parent and then this is how we reference open then under it we'll make our last variable local close equals frame wait for child then same thing close and down here we'll make a function. We're gonna do open dot mouse did not spell mouse right mouse button one click connect function and then we'll close parentheses and then we will do and then we will do open dot visible. This will not autofill, so you guys are gonna have to type this out completely on your own in case you guys are wondering. So when the player basically clicks the open button which where we want it to be where open dot visible 
earn or no, not open that visible. We want it to be frame dot visible. Cause we want to change like the frame this right here because it's set to invisible. We want this to be visible to players. So we're gonna do frame dot visible equals true. So when they click it, it's true. And then we also want open dot visible equals false because we don't want the open button to be uh, visible if we already have this open and then now we're gonna you guys could just copy and paste this and then just change a few things around you want to change open to close and then you guys are going to want to do frame dot visible is set to false and then open up visible is set to true basically when the players click the close button it will make the frame invisible and then make the open button uh, visible again so that they're able to uh, open it whenever they want but it's closing the GUI for that time so yeah let's go ahead and then let's test it let's click play all right you guys see ever click open or click click to open boom there's our GUI and we click X see it goes right away if you guys want mm, I guess we could add some I guess we add some text real quick we could just add in uh, Mm, I guess we add a text label, and then here I'll make it the same size as the. Or no, I'll just, I'll just keep it the same size. We could just say, I guess we could just say inventory, inventory space here, just so you guys can just see what it like looks like with just text. If any of you were wondering how to include text, yeah. Obviously, we'd have to change the color and positioning and size and stuff, but yeah, you guys get the point. So yeah, as you guys can see, it opens, closes, but yeah, that's how you make an open and close GUI. As always, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section down below. Um, I will respond and try to help you uh, if possible and stuff. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this was helpful to you. And as always, I will leave the script in the description if you just want to copy and paste it. So yeah, I'll see y'all.